everybody, I hope you're doing well and having a good Saturday. So today we're going to be starting on the lovely red flower, which I'm really excited to do because I think it's just going to pop this colour, I'm looking forward to doing it. Oh, I've got a piece of thread on me. Put that down there. Um, so today we're going to be starting with the flower and it's in long and short shading stitch. <laughs> Still not got my mouth around that. Um, and it's a little bit different, I think, this time, as when you look at the guides on the flower, we're going to do each individual point almost as like a separate bit, which will make more sense, I think, when I start. I'm not very good at explaining this sometimes. So yeah, I thought we'd get started. So I'm going to use these kind of lines as my gauge for kind of the direction of each stitch. So we'll come up like that and we'll work to this one first. So then we'll do a short shading, just a short stitch, and then a longer stitch. angle it on this one just as we start going down here I'm going to do a long one to this one even though there's no line on it just just to help me get each where I'm going first three kind of spikes of the flower petals petals a good word for it so i thought i'd show you how i was getting on and kind of now i've got a bit more of the hang of what i'm doing so i'm just like i said before using these lines as the guide oh, okay. oh, not there. so then i'm going to come to the tip like that and then i'm working my way back first Come up down. just going to stitch by stitch, a long stitch, then a short stitch. Just in here, do a nice little short stitch. back to the middle and do the other side. I think this bit just shows why it's so important to do the background bits before you do the foreground. Because we're just going to go slightly over the ends of our cruel stem stitch. Just that. I'm going to just put a little long stitch in there like that. And then we're ready to start the next petal. So I finished doing the first set, first colour first layer of our long and short stitch and so this is what it's looking like it's a little messy at the bottom but I'm hoping that when we come in with the second colour it should cover it up and make it look all nice so I'm going to start I've got my second colour on I'm going to start in this middle one coming down and then work this way around first so I'm just going to come down to around here And then I'm going to follow the direction of what I've already done. Try 
they come up in between each of these stitches. Then I'm going to come up this flower and do the same again. So we've got our second colour and second layer all in and it's looking really nice. I really like how it's looking. So we're going to go back in with this same colour, the 226, to finish this last little bit off. So I'm not quite sure. Am I meant to come up here and in there or from there down? We'll come up from here so I make sure I'm getting that same shading. down into here like that and then I'm gonna start working my way around so I'm just slowly working my way around Looks like I'm going to run out of thread, so I'm going to just do a bit of casting off stitches. I'll get some new thread and we'll be on to the last bit. So I'm just putting in my final stitches, just making sure that I've got the direction right coming back into here. more long stitch up here and that's my final flower and I'm really really happy with how that's turned out I'm just going to come in here do my casting off stitches like so So this weekend, I'm going to go away, finish off these leaves, which are very similar to the leaves we did down here, finish off my acorn cups and also do this little bit of detail here, which is very similar to this here. And then on Monday, we'll be ready to move our linen up to this final top bit. And that would, will be basically, I'm going to say half of it done, which... It's taken us a while to get here, but I'll be, I'm quite impressed with how far we've got so far. And I think a lot of it now is very similar to what we've already done. So we're going to speed through the rest of this, hopefully, touch wood. So I hope you have a good weekend and I will see you on Monday.